of Navy's unmanned warfare systems. And before we got cut off on our last feed, we were talking specifically about partnerships. I know yesterday CNO really emphasized exciting commercial applications for unmanned warfare systems. Can you tell us a little bit about how your office specifically bridges the gap between military and the We're amidst a, a rising tide of technology all around us, and so we're charged, our office, with, uh, with sailors and marines out in the fleet. And, you know, you don't do this alone. And when we talk about partnerships, so it, it's industry, it, it's, it's, it's academia, uh, it's government, and it's, it's our international partners. And the exciting thing about Sea Air is action going. Now, you just mentioned sailors. I know it's out, out in Facebook that haven't heard of that before. Can you explain what the human machine team exactly is? Certainly. Uh, as, uh, as machines, not as replacements uh, to supplement. And together, they're, they're, they're greater than each of uh, the individual parts. And so when we talk about this, this, this and fast, and the things that people do best, wisdom and the, you put them together, and that's, that's human machine teaming unmanned systems fit into the overall Navy design strategy? Well, you know, CNO has four, you know, one is, uh, is improving and strengthening our, our war fighting team. And so certainly machines and ripe technologies uh, have a place for that uh, in every aspect, in our sensors, in our platforms that our ships uh, and, and, uh, and, and people do. Uh, so there's that line of effort. Uh, there is a line effort, a line of effort of high velocity learning at every level, and and that's a big area where machines can help us do things faster, understand things quicker, and in the end do our jobs better. There's making our our Navy team, uh, human machine teaming, and then a part about about strengthening our relationships. Again, as I mentioned briefly, uh, uh, whether it be international partners, industry partners. Uh, other government entities that we work with. So all four of those uh, lines of effort, if you will, come together uh, in this wonderful area of technology and how we best apply it in unmanned systems, but also technology writ large. Awesome. Well, Admiral, thank you so much for your time today. And for our Facebook fans, be sure to check live. And for now, I'm Lieutenant Amberlynn Daniel, and we'll see you.